lesson you take away as a team from, from this game? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, we all know that the NBA is a game of runs, but, you know, we just need to do a better job of putting together uh, four full quarters. You know, it seems like we're, we're good in, in bursts, but, um, you know, you can't have those let-ups. You can't have those massive runs, you know. you got to be able to shift the momentum back in your direction, shift the energy back in your direction. Uh, when it starts tilting that way, you know, we were kind of all over the place, digging ourselves out of a hole early and then digging ourselves out of a hole late. So you just have to play full four quarters, full 48 minutes. When the game tilts, does it feel like collectively you guys are relaxing out there? How would you characterize it? No, I wouldn't say it's you know anything about us you know, relaxing necessarily. I think um, more than anything, it's just, you know, maybe uh, you know, not being as aggressive, um, both offensively and defensively, uh, you know, getting the stops when we need to get stops, executing when we need to execute offensively, taking care of the ball when we need to take care of the ball. A lot of times when you're, I mean, you're putting teams on the line, that's, you know, not necessarily being out physical. It's just positioning and being in the wrong place and so forth and so on. Is that what you're seeing when you're giving them 29, almost 30 free throws in this game? Yeah, I think, um, you know, some of them are sort of mental fouls where, you know, maybe a guy gets you in the air or something like that. But then uh, some of them are just being out of position um, defensive rebounding wise. You know, when you play against teams that have excellent offensive rebounders like an Andre Drummond, people like that, you know, it's, it's a collective effort. You got to have all five guys coming back to the ball, um, helping out and rebounding. You can't be reliant on, you know, Jay or DJ just to go up and get the board every time. You know, the guards have to do a better job coming back and getting rebounds. Guys struggled a little bit with the refs tonight. Uh, it seemed like some guys got a little perturbed. Um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say it was anything to do with, with the refs. I think, um, you know, there was just a level of frustration just because of how many, you know, swings there were in the game where we just didn't do a good enough job executing and, and getting stops when we needed to. The guys do, you know, it makes it difficult when Detroit's trying to foul in a situation where they're up three and don't want to give up a three-pointer. How, how do you counter that? Um, you know, that's where, you know, end-of-game execution comes into play. You know, we practice it every day, and uh, we just got to do a better job executing our end-of-game sets. It, the, the record's two and four now. You know, that probably doesn't... Uh uh, fit with the optimism that everybody had going into the season is how do you get through this period mentally and until you adjust to each other? Um, obviously, it's frustrating. Nobody wants to lose. You don't want to be in a position where you're, you know, where you're at right now, two and four. But at the end of the day, we still have uh, 77 more games, so you can't overreact too much to the first six games of the season.